Well, several progressive liberal party MPs have placed on the record of the House their reservations over parts of the compendium of gender equality bills. Marco City MP Greg Moss told Parliament today that when it comes to correcting gender inequality, we should be careful not to open doors to new issues which will challenge us as a country in the future. That story tonight from Altavis Munnings. In his contribution to the constitutional reform bill debate in Parliament Monday, Marco City MP Greg Moss objected to Bills 2 and 4 of the Gender Equality Compendium, which deal with citizenship for the husbands of Bahamian women and the inclusion of the word sex, eliminating gender discrimination. And we should not have individuals in this country being able to grant citizenship simply by choosing someone to marry. That makes no sense. And with the greatest respect, it is a false paradigm, a false dilemma to say that the only way to equalize that discrimination under the Constitution is to repeat that discrimination and to compound that error by, by performing the same error in respect of women that we did in respect of men. But it was Moss's comments on the inclusion of the word sex in the Constitution that received objection from his colleagues. Moss believes the rewording of that part of the Constitution could open the door to gay marriage. We should not be about the business of trying to legislate what others would see as progressive legislation to open the door to these unions without the continents of our people and in this way. If we want to have a blunt, open, direct discussion on this by way of statute or an open discussion on the amendment of the Constitution and the effect it will have, I think we should have this, but not in this way. And in any event, I do not support it. However, the MP for Central and South Eleuthera, the Honorable Damien Gomez, who played a pivotal role in drafting these bills, dismissed that notion. He has no clue how the issue of sexual orientation crept into this debate in the first place. The world seems to have been collapsing around us as people are clamoring about gays getting married. But where is this coming from? Our law as it presently stands states quite clearly that marriage is an institution between a male and a female. We have not proposed to change that. We haven't even dreamt it up. <laughs> and yet, it consumes so many people. And I wonder if they are harboring insecurities about their own sexual positions. Because th this is a completely <laughs> irrelevant political discussion. It is just not on. Where is this coming from? The Legal Affairs State Minister maintains the ultimate goal of amending the Constitution is to institute full equality between men and women. Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News.